Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I'm your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the theater. And it's the latest offering from Pixar, and it's a sequel to one of my favorite movies under their umbrella. My review of the 2024 coming-of-age animated sequel, Inside Out 2, coming up now. Riley is now 13 and has just hit puberty. She, along with her two best friends, spend a long weekend at an ice hockey camp. When she finds out her friends will be going to a different school in the fall and tries hard to impress the upperclassmen in her camp, Riley's emotions try to steer her in the right direction. Until, of course, the core emotions, joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust, are surprised to find new emotions, anxiety, envy, embarrassment, and inwe coming into headquarters, taking over, and making big changes while banishing the core emotions and thinking they're helping Riley for the better. So what did I think of Inside Out 2? I thought it's a charming and clever animated coming-of-age animated sequel. It's directed by Kelsey Mann in his feature film directorial debut. The animation from Pixar, of course, looks fantastic with its very bright colors and makes some very small details pop on the screen. The bulk of the film focuses on the new character of anxiety taking over Riley's headspace, as it certainly does in people's early teen years, and certainly still for adults. Guilty. There's solid messages to be found here about anxiety, such as while you shouldn't let it ruin your life, there is a place for it and even can have a few pros. The film also deals with Riley's belief system and sense of self, where she believes to be a good person, and after anxiety takes the reins, Riley begins to question herself as the emotions try to manipulate her, as others try to protect her. Joy also tries to launch all of Riley's bad memories into the back of her mind, but we learn that awkward or negative emotions in our lives make us the person we end up as, too. Much like the first film, the characters are forced to take a journey, this time all five of the core emotions trying to find their way back to headquarters to stop anxiety, seeing locales such as a stream of consciousness, a sarcasm, and a return to imagination land, which looks a lot different than the last time Joy took a trip there. The humor mostly hits, and I found myself laughing out loud regularly. There are still some emotional moments throughout, and while I came out tear-free, which is a nice change of pace, you could still get choked up. The talented voice cast includes Amy Poehler as Joy, the yellow happy emotion whose whole world is thrown off when Riley begins going through puberty, Maya Hawke as Anxiety, the new orange anxious emotion who wants to create a new persona of sorts for Riley, fearing that she won't fit in, Phyllis Smith as Sadness, Louis Black as Anger, and Tony Hale and Liza LaPria joining the cast as Fear and Disgust, the other four core emotions, as well as Io Adibri as Envy, Adele Exarchopoulos as Enu, and Paul Walter Hauser as Embarrassment, the new emotions who take over Riley's headquarters. There's also a very funny cameo from June Squibb as the voice of Nostalgia. While it may not hit the heights of the original, which is a very hard thing to do, Inside Out 2 is a worthy follow-up with a lot of funny, smart, and creative ideas. Number-wise, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of Do It, and a high Do It at That. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Playlist. And of course, you can follow me on the Instagram and Letterboxd at West Playlist. Until next time, Troop out.